Okay, hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I am Kevin, and today we're gonna smoke a brisket on this uh, Man Kitchen Recipe Slim Barrel Smoker. I haven't used that barrel smoker in a little while. I need to do a brisket. Um, we're finishing up my fence tomorrow. So after we're done, we're gonna feast on some brisket, and I also want some leftover because I've got some recipes out there for some leftover brisket. And I gotta tell you, if you've never done a brisket before, don't let it intimidate you. It's a big piece of meat. Uh, a couple helpful things. If you have a pellet grill or if you have a uh, barrel smoker, you want to maintain a low temp like 225. That's what I'm running this one at. It's probably going to go roughly 12 to 16 hours. We'll see. We'll see how it goes as the temperature goes. Also, a temp probe so that you can keep an eye on the internal temperature. Um, but hey, you know what? It's backyard barbecue. If you mess it up, you mess it up. It's still going to be good. <laughs> Brisket is just good, and it's very forgiving. Uh, you know, if you're doing a competition, it's not. But if you're just cooking for the family, you'll do all right. All right, so uh, let me go inside. I'll show you the brisket. Come right back out, and uh, we'll get it on this drum smoker. 225. Okay, so for this brisket, I just put some uh, black pepper, kosher salt, and I used up the rest of my uh, Sure Shot Sid's uh, coffee, roasted coffee gunpowder. And, uh, you know... Um, to trim this thing up, I trim. I had to trim up some of these uh, thin pieces. They had a flap on this uh, brisket. I mean, it's crazy. I got this whole pile of uh, fat here that's going to become some of that liquid gold. And uh, anyway, so these pieces that I cut off because they're thin, I usually stack them together. I put any other little pieces on the inside. Then I will uh, tie this up a little bit, and it's off another. You know, nice piece of brisket, nice fat piece of brisket. That's, uh, you know, just some uh, pitmaster privilege right there. I'll use that on other stuff. Uh, this is going to be for our, uh, I don't know, probably our late lunch tomorrow. Uh, anyway, we're going to let this sit. It's going to probably sit for about 12 to 13 hours in the fridge. And then we'll get it on that grill. Okay, and that's all I did. Salt, pepper, a little uh, coffee rub. This ended up, this is probably only about a 10 and a half pound brisket after uh, cutting all that fat off of it. And uh, that, that extra piece, let me grab that. So I tied up this extra meat that was cut off. Now, the reason it was trimmed off is one end of the flat was super thin, too thin, it would have burned. So I rounded off, cut that part off. And then th another piece on here was a big flap that was hanging off the side of the point. And it was actually pretty marbly. So what I did is I tied it up like that. Now I'm going to throw this on there. It's going to cook just like that does. Brisket still takes a long time, even if it's a small piece. And uh, yeah, we're going to get this all going. I'm going to use this. I'm probably going to green chili brisket this piece. But uh, anyway, let's get this on. We'll get this cook going. All right, so I got my barrel smoker up to 225. I have some, uh, you saw me throw in some uh, mesquite. Some branches from a mesquite that uh, my son gave me from Arizona. Got my temp probe in there for the uh, Pitmaster IQ. So I'm just going to set this brisket right in like that. The other piece, I'm going to sit right next to it. All right. So we're going to close this up. We're going to let it go for probably mm, six, maybe five to seven hours. I want to get the internal temp. Which reminds me, i got to get my uh, Meat Stick X 4X in here. And uh, we, we're shooting for the internal temp of probably around 150, 160, wherever it's going to stall, usually right in that range. I don't mind taking it when I hit the 150, 155, somewhere in there, wrapping it, and then uh, continuing to cook. So, all right, let's let this thing just do its thing. We'll be back in, I don't know, probably five, six hours. Okay, so... This brisket has been on for six hours. Uh, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm gonna wrap these up in foil. Gonna get them back onto the uh, barrel smoker right here. Right there, <laughs> I guess it is. And then uh, I'm gonna let it go overnight and when I get up in the morning, we'll check it. And then, um, yeah, see if it gets up about 200, 203, 205, whatever. And uh, if it's ready, we'll wrap it in a towel and put it in a cooler until we're ready to eat. But for right now, we're just going to put it in the wrap it in foil, let it keep cooking. All right, there it is. Look at that. 
That is looking good. Okay, we got the uh, brisket. We got our meat stick back in there. Here's that other piece <clears throat> right there. And we're going to still roll at 225, and we'll be back in the morning. Hey, okay, so it's the next day. And I got to tell you, like in the beginning, if you've never done a brisket before, don't let it intimidate you. You just got to go with the flow with them sometimes. But the key is always plan for 12 to 14 hours, plus at least a couple hours of resting in a cooler or 150 degrees somewhere. And uh, the reason is you just never know. You want to be prepared and, uh, for anything that goes on instead of going up, the brisket's taken forever and you don't eat till nine o'clock at night, right? So this was supposed to be for a late lunch. Um, that's why I put it on last night at around five, 11 o'clock, I wrapped it. Well, and another reason why you need a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi temp probe in, uh, in your brisket if you're gonna let it go all night. I had my meat stick X in there and uh, the alarm went off on it at 3 a.m. It was at 203 degrees. I came out here, wrapped it in a towel, put it in my ice chest. Here it is in the cooler, keeping warm. And it sat for, well, it's been in there for about five hours now. But what I'm gonna do now is uh, since it was done so early and plans changed, we should already be working on my gate, finishing my fence here, and that's what this was for, plus some leftovers. <clears throat> uh, but uh, my nephew that, that's helping me with this had to work today till 11 or 12. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my oven in the house at the keep warm setting. Most ovens you have to have it at 170. If you, can, if you have a way to keep it down at 150, go that route, but 170 is not going to hurt it. Okay, so we're going to take the take it out of the towel there it is right there oh man it is still really super hot ah yeah i should have used gloves <laughs> uh oh i've got a hole in my uh, oh. foil i better fix that and we'll get it back in here and let it just rest for the rest okay, of the day so there we go i put it in the pan covered it with foil and we'll just let this rest until we're ready oh, to eat. he's just gonna sit in there for a while uh the little small packet i think i might cut that open and show you that and do a little quick taste test on that I will film cutting the, the big part of the brisket later and try to get it in this video. If I forget, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> At least we'll have some in there. But anyway, yeah, so briskets, you just never know. You know, I mean, I've had them go 12, 14, 16 hours and then still needed to let them rest. And uh, I would rather have them done early, let them rest, rest longer because you can, you can rest these things overnight if you really need to, but you got to keep it at 10. So anyway, I'll cut up that little piece that I uh, tied up and uh, we'll do a quick taste test on that. Okay, so here's that little one. And it wrapped up, double wrapped. Looks like it had a little bit of a leak. Sometimes, you know, the foil will stick on your grill grate. Totally fine. Just uh, you don't want to lose all the juices. Look at that. I did, I did wrap it in string, so I'm gonna cut the string off so we don't uh, have to taste test any of the string. <laughs> All right, so there we go. <clears throat> so, you know, I mean, that's a pretty good chunk of meat right there. So I'm just gonna slice into it. I like butter, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And this is in pieces, remember? And there's that little piece I had on the inside, but look at that. Look at that nice smoke ring on there. Of course, yeah, of course. We're gonna take a taste of this, so. I might have to take a couple of bites. One off of there. One of these. All right, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's do it. Okay, there you go. There's my little slices that I just sliced off. Look at that. Oh, I know it's gonna be good. So let's take a taste. That's off that little uh, Slim Barrel smoker back there. Mmm. Mmm. So tender. Mmm. Literally melt in your mouth brisket. Mmm. All right. I'll slice into that big one later. I'll uh, edit it into this video so you can see it. But just from that piece that I cut into, you can see the smoke ring. I don't know if you can see it out here. It's a little dim out here because it's cloudy. Uh, but man, it's delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here it is out of the oven. This thing has been resting for 12 hours total. 
So uh, we had five hours in the cooler, eight hours in the oven, and here we go. Let's cut into this thing. I'll just uh, cut in right here. Cuts like butter, like just like that other piece did. And look at this thing. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we're going to go, uh, I'm going to cut these up. I cut my brisket up whenever we're going to eat with just, you know, family. About half inch slices. We don't do the little quarter inch you know number two pencil slices we get a real good chunk of meat when we put it when we plate it up uh give it a try if you don't cut it thick like this you only need one or two pieces you don't you know have to pile on four or five pieces to have a meal just get a couple of these with your side and you are good to go i mean ch check this out this is just amazing that little piece that i taste tested earlier <clears throat> man it's just so tender melt in your mouth and uh, we're going to go enjoy this. So here it is. That's all done. Pepper and coffee rub on here. Huh. Perfect. All right. There you go. This is my taste test. Don't be afraid to make a brisket. They're, uh, they are forgiving. I have overcooked one. and But you know what? They're still edible. I chopped it up, made some brisket tacos. They were fantastic. So either way, you're going to turn out a great brisket. And, uh, hey, right. thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And uh, come back, hit the subscribe, hit the like. You'll be notified on my next cut.